this is Stephanie with Liat. I'm here to teach you about our new bicycle helmets. This is the DVX 6.0 carbon fiber helmet. It will be available in this one colorway of carbon white at a retail price of $4.99. So we're using a dual density foam within our new helmets. With that, you can see that it is a cone shape. With this type of foam, we are able to actually reduce the shell of the helmet by pouring it inside the helmet versus some foams that are made prior to and then placed inside that allow air gaps. By using that, like I said, you're able to make a smaller shell. With a smaller shell, it reduces the force of a rotational impact. A 10% decrease in shell size can add up to a 20% decrease in rotational forces. To start, we use a material called Armor Gel. As you can see, it's really pliable. A lot of people like to say it's similar to like a Play-Doh. You can see how soft it is. But when you take a force and do a hard impact, you'll see that it doesn't move at all. But then with the touch of your finger, it goes back to being soft again. We've used the Armor Gel material and what we call 360 turbines. With these turbines, they're made to take an impact. They're also made for 360 degree rotational forces. So with the 360 turbines, we've taken them and put them inside the helmet throughout, as you can see that they're placed uh, so that they do actually touch the head and they are below the liner as well. Some of the other features on the helmet is going to be the ventilation. You can see how large the ports are, allowing the air to flow throughout. There are 16 ports throughout the bicycle helmet, included on the front as well. Another feature we've added is for hydration. If you're running a hands-free kit, we call it Hydrate, and it actually connects through here and below the cheek pad. It channels through here to allow for the mouthpiece to sit right at the front. So in case of a crash, you do want the visor to break. What we've done with our visor screws is made it so they are actually break off at the head. You can take an existing visor screw or an Allen key and put it inside the screw and use it as a tool to spin and remove the existing broken piece. If you do wear a neck brace, we've designed the back of the helmet to have the angle here so that with the neck brace, it will actually work and not restrict any movement. Upon a crash, uh, if your face is touching the cheek pad, you wanna be able to take the helmet off. So we've created our own design here where you actually pull the padding out of the cheek pad. You can do it on both cheek pads, makes the helmet loose so that you can pull the helmet off without uh, causing any movement to the head or neck. We're also making a composite helmet. This is the DVX 5.0. It will be available in five colorways at a retail price of $3.99. We are recording, by the way. Oh! <laughs> do over. Take four.